Just hours away from another high profile release from jail, this time baby Gabriel's mother, Elizabeth Johnson. ABC 15's Joe Bartels is live at the Lower Buckeye Jail. And Joe, how is this going to work? Well, Katie, she will walk right out of those doors just like anyone else released from jail at the Lower Buckeye Jail. And we are confirming it could happen as soon as midnight. And it may feel like deja vu for a lot of us in the valley because the last time she walked, only we caught it on camera at exactly 12.04 a.m. You may remember our exclusive video of Elizabeth's last release, July 2014 from the Perryville prison. The twists and turns continue for Elizabeth Johnson. She'll spend a final night locked up before she's released once again on probation. We called her lawyer, Mark Victor, to see where Johnson will go or who she'll stay with. We know she has to stay local. She can't leave the state, at least not right away, and she'll be monitored 24 hours a day with an ankle bracelet for up to three months. We checked late tonight with Tempe police. As far as they are concerned, their investigation is complete and Johnson has served her time in prison for her crime. After she got out, she was supposed to behave and serve four years probation for the disappearance of her son, eight-month-old baby Gabriel. She was convicted on custodial interference and told police she gave her son away in a San Antonio park to a Texas couple. Police were never able to confirm her story or find Gabriel. Elizabeth admitted she skipped town last year and she went to New Mexico. She was captured and hauled back to Arizona last month. A judge ordered Johnson to spend 20 days behind bars. She's done that, and now she'll finish the rest of her probation sentence until July 2018. And Gabriel would have been seven years old today. And we also reached out to Gabriel's father, but we have not heard back. Now, we will be here when Elizabeth comes out. We'll be sure to bring that to you.